than a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Welcome to the Arctic. I didn't really need that on there, but things always start easier if the batteries are warm, so fuck it, was over here. Had to start the 835 and his batteries were low, so just wheeled it over to this one and left it for a little while. It's fucking cold out, so let's see. Ha! Not a problem. What was I worried about? Nothing really, because it was plugged in all night. There. So, we got a little bit of uh, feeding I want to do here this morning and bedding. So, get all this out of the way. Second. <laughs> Oops, accidentally ended the video. Anyway, so I'll let that percolate for a little while. I gotta go to town and mail some stuff. Uh, 4020 is plugged in over there, so we'll go see if she wants to fire up now. I'm sure it will. That tractor's easy, easy starting, that old girl. So, see you in a minute. All right. 40-20 time. Ooh, yeah, it's nice and warm. We'll see. She hasn't been plugged in for as long, so we'll find out real quick here. Okay. Ah, uh, 4020 always has fucking issues with their batteries here, so. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's got new batteries, but. It always has issues with corrosion. I don't know, things look good, but... Ah, whatever. The joys of fucking cold weather. So, we'll bring the battery charger over and throw it on here, I guess, in a few minutes. Oh well. Nothing else to do today. We don't fuck around with this. <laughs> so, we had a bunch of freezing rain here the other day. Look at that. What a mess. Okay, hurry up. Oh, Buford! You're not dead last today. All right. There you go. Come get your chop. Buford. What? <laughs> oh, he's looking at the dogs. They're gone. Don't worry. It's all good. What? <laughs> Here's the other project. Get this fired up to go do some braking. Hopefully, maybe, probably not. It's not froze yet, so some stuff I just got back, but I'll tell you all about it in the braking video. I don't know which will be first. This one or the braking video, we'll see. Anyway. What do you think, 835? Easy. There. Let him percolate for a bit. I'll go do the straw now. here to keep the wind 
from blowing on the engine while it was plugged in so that the wind didn't just blow all the heat away from the circulating heater. Put that circulating heater on there yesterday. I didn't have one for the longest time. The old one buggered up, and usually it's not doing anything when it's cold out, but it's kind of a good thing to have one on it, anyways. So, anyway, let's go shred a bale. kind of busted so we'll see how well it wants to shred out of it here I kind of figure out how I'm gonna do this because I've got this big feeder in the middle here now so <laughs> okay We'll be back in a second. There. So, I did two uh, wheat straw bales for bedding, and now I'm gonna bring them a barley straw. I'm gonna shred it out into a roll for them to eat. And, uh, I want to see what they think of it when it's in a roll. I was trying to feed it to them in a ring and they weren't too big on it. But uh, then we sat a couple of them against the windbreak panels there after that big wind and within a week they ate the entire bale. So go figure. Won't eat it in the bale ring but they'll eat it when they're not supposed to. <laughs> so I'm going to try shredding one here into a row and uh, see what they think of that. And then uh, Leroy, Willie, and the horse need a little bit more bedding too. I didn't quite have enough in the shredder from the wheat straw, so I'll probably give them a little bit more here of the uh, of barley like this to lay in. It's all the same. So anyway, that's the plan. Talk to you when we get back there again. Slipped out of my hand. Oh well. There. Ah, uh, yes. That should work quite swimmingly. Alrighty. Let's make them a roll here. I'm not going against the feed fronts because they're still uh, they still go out in the pasture and graze. So if I put it along the feed front, they're going to walk all over it anyway and waste half of it. So it may as well be in the corral here and then. Whatever they don't eat next year when we clean manure, I can just scrape it up that way, so.
Well, isn't that just handy? Here. That's that job all done with now. So, we'll go fire up 4020 and uh, put a bale in, I think, for Leroy there and Willie and the horse. <laughs> It starting. <laughs> I uh, I never hooked the battery charger to it. Before I done it, oh fuck it, I'll hit the button again and see what happens. Fuck, she twirled right over and away it went. So good. One less thing to have to fuck with that way. So uh, I guess I'm gonna grab an alfalfa bale and throw it in there for them. And then that'll probably be lots for this VG, I think. So uh, yeah. Talk to when we get a bale in there. takes a good half hour, 40 minutes when it's real cold out for uh, the hydraulics to get warmed up like that, so. Only ran for 10 minutes, so whatever. Wouldn't do that with a bale spear there, Tyson and Ryan. <laughs> uh, fuck. That's gonna be our thing now, just trying to one-up one another with bale spear versus grapple forks, I think. <laughs> anyway, we'll throw this in there and we'll talk to you then. Should do them the trick, I think. So, get out of the corral here, and that'll be that. So, thank you much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and comment, subscribe for more. Oh, man, to shut the gate on me. <laughs> I guess. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.